I will do this in my prayer and then I will ask for forgiveness and I will pray that they will be good too. So from there on, I start to believe that there is the existence of God, um, existence of Allah. And uh, that's where um, uh, I start to put everything and relying on Him. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am uh, Sarah Wong Yaoling. I'm from Sabah and I am a revert. I'm from Sabah, from a hometown in Sandakan. I born from a small family. I have a brother and of course my parents. We were born as uh, Buddhists. So since young, I was sent to temple for classes or activities. But when I got my own thinking, I actually uh, starts to disagree about my uh, family religion. At the time, I was probably around secondary school time. That's where I see my parents when it comes to first and the 15th day of the month or some special occasions that they have to buy some sort of praying items that they need to burn and you know they need to buy fruits and buy chicken or some sort of food that they have to put on the altar for the idol to bless the idol at the time i was having a thinking that why are my parents they spend so much money in buying those and they still you know work very hard and life doesn't go so smooth that's where i start to you know i'm not in the same line with them as in when it comes to any prayer time i will try not to involve in that so when i start to have my own job i totally i mean i'm not praying in anything at all at the time but after two to three years working i come across a colleague and then she bring me to church on a Sunday Mass and from there I find that uh, Christianity is happy because once a week people go to church and then they sing songs and then they greet each other and then they give hugs to each other or it's like a gathering place for the Christian people so and that time I was kind of okay as in you know uh, there is such a happy religion but I wasn't that much involved in their activities, only once a week of a Sunday Mass. But I wasn't really like digging of what it says in the Bible, even though I have one, but I wasn't really, you know, uh, trying to understand it because I got a feeling that it's kind of difficult for me to uh, make understand of it. And there wasn't any uh, guidance as well at the time. So I kind of uh, take it like 50-50. So then it's all of my own thinking until I go to work abroad. I was transferred to Maldives within our hotel group. So Maldives is a 100% Muslim nation. So from there, I come across my current boyfriend. He is a Muslim, a Maldivian. So when I know about him and he did actually ask questions of Islam and I told him all about the negativity perceptions of what I came across in Malaysia about terrorist, about why they allowed to marry four wives and then many many negative thoughts but rather than convincing me to be a Muslim straight away he actually encouraged me to find out what is the truth what it is actually comparing into what the media is projecting and what is the truth about the religion. From there on, we kind of having discussion about the reason behind why it is so happened uh, for wives and why it is so happened that the Muslim lady have to cover up all these, you know, uh, examples. And at the same time, I have a colleague when I was there in Maldives. He is a very religious person and he gave me a Quran. I find it is much more uh, easier for me to understand compared to Bible. But at the time, I have not even really dig in as in to find out until I come back. After three and a half years in Maldives, I decided to transfer back to Malaysia. So I was given 
a post in Penang. So in 2017, I came to Penang. It was my first time working in Penang. So because of a lifestyle change, I have more time of myself. And then because there is so much to explore in Penang. Then from there on, as I work, I also come across a colleague of mine. She is a Muslim rivet. She riveted more than 10 years ago. So she actually gave me a good example of how a rivet actually carry herself as a rivet. So I see so much difference of her in comparing to what the negativities are that I used to thought of. From there on, I started to again find out what it is about because I was with my boyfriend for four to five years at the time. And then I'm telling myself that I should really make a decision because my boyfriend told me that don't revert because of marriage. Otherwise, you know, it is not something that you should do. You should revert because you know the religion so that I can understand, you know, where he is coming from. And that also makes me to find out myself whether it is something that I want. And I started to find out about marriages and things like that, you know, what I have to do after reverts and so on. But at the time, I was kind of like a chicken without head because I do not know where to start and then how to start. But I started to Google. So I got a chance to come across this Malaysia Muslim Chinese Association in Malaysia and then uh, also surprised to see that they have branches in Sabah or in Penang and I left my contact and somebody contacted me uh, very quickly and what happened was I got to meet them they actually asked me to you know why not we meet up and if you have any questions they can actually help me to give me an answer or what should I do and you know just help me then on the 29th of September 2019 they asked to meet and then coincidentally, uh, my friend Aisha, she also coming back to Penang on that day, traveling from Perlis to Penang. So it was like, I'm staying in Batu Ferengi and she was married in Perlis. So she was traveling back from Perlis to Penang. So I, I was thinking, can you come and join me to meet them? Yeah, so that I have someone to accompany me, which was great. And then she came along and then we had a discussion together with some representative from the association and at the time in my heart it's like why is everything happen just so smoothly and everything come in place in the right timing uh, you know the people who helped me along the way and so i decided to have my shahada on the 29th of september 2019 in masjid jalan kampung jawa so from there on, honestly speaking, it was like a child just brought into a empty room. You do not know what will happen next. But I just see that people are so happy for me. Yeah, but honestly speaking, at the time, I have not sensed anything. Emotionally, I have not sensed it because I haven't found the connection, you know, in between myself and Allah. So from there, I actually continue on with the arrangements that the associations has helped me. I go ahead with the Fardu Ain course. And then after three days, I was like, oh no, what should I do now? Like, you know, what is the next step? Because even though I have Muslim colleagues, but it is very different. After you revert, you kind of also lost for some time don't know what you have to do then I leave it for some times and uh, luckily I recall that a friend together with me in the Fardu Ain course she is sister Isabel I actually took my phone and then I texted her I asked can you help me how to pray so she was so kind because she has her mom uh, sister Alisa who reverted about probably one or two years before her so that's why she already know the basic so of what she knew she actually so kind to teach me so she said that she has a prayer mat that she can share with me and from there on I actually took the prayer mat from her uh, and from there I start to learn how to pray on my own 
and I find it a very peace and as in at first I was so nervous because I have to read something that I've never read before even though when you spell it is basically in like in English or Malay form but when you have to memorize it is this totally different but I took the time to do my prayer and from there on I started to practice my five prayers a day yeah my emotions comes when actually I don't really remember but I do felt that at points when I was alone or lots of help when I or when I miss someone or my parents when I feel guilty about not staying with them then I will uh, you know uh, I will do this in my prayer and then I will ask for forgiveness and I will pray that they will be good too so from there on I start to believe that there is the existence of God um, existence of Allah and uh, that's where um, uh, I start to put everything and relying on him yeah so because of that prayer mat i also got introduced to ipsi yeah because i'm a person that uh, even though i know bahasa but it cannot make it into my brain like so i find it it is so difficult to get connected so because of sister isabel and sister alisa they invite me to join this revert class in ipsi so for the first time, I go with them. That's where I attended the revert class by Duan Haji Kamaruddin. There, I actually also received a gift from Ipsi about the New Muslim Guide. Mm. This book has been very helpful for me because not long after I started to know how to pray myself and even though, because I'm not sure whether I am doing it correctly or not, but not soon after we enter into the COVID lockdown. So basically, I having more time for myself into how I can make the prayer complete. Because when I started praying, I only say the Al-Fatiha and then uh, I haven't remember memorized the Surah. So during the lockdown time, I took chance I actually referring it to this new Muslim guide and one by one I wrote it down on a paper and then day by day as I pray I actually follow it from there on I start to pick up and complete my prayer and because of my friend Aisha she also told me about Sunnah prayer and also a few times she brought me to pray in the masjid so I find it there are a sense of help from everywhere along my river journey so as soon as I know about Ipsi I know about Sister Saratan as well as what are the um, activity they offer to rivers so I started to join river classes and also the Quran classes on the weekend. I find it extremely important, especially for rivets like myself, that sometimes when you read from books, you may not be able to understand well, but if there is somebody there to explain, and as well as when you see there are other rivets from different nationalities learning the same thing, they give a sense of encouragement to actually make me feel that I am not alone and there is no don't make me feel that it is something wrong that i have chosen yeah so it make me give me a sense of confidence that you know it helps me a lot as after being a rivet uh, first of all i would like to thank ipsi for this platform for me as a revert to grow and those who are watching this revert story video i hope you can use this platform as well be it you are yet to be a revert or you are already a muslim please welcome to ipsi and your help by 
donating or your help by contributing your energy to Ipsy are very much helpful. Do give us some like and share in our Instagram and Facebook page. Your help and your donations are much appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to IPSA channel to support our dawah efforts. Jazakallah khair.